a very good evening and a big welcome to all my viewers and students aaj hum rubru honge do pyare bachcho ki normal se toppers tak ki journey kehte hain khwab to har kisi ke bade hote hain par manzil uski usko milti hai jiski jit badi hoti hai myself sanjay kumar sharma deputy director and physics faculty associated with akash since last 5 year hum sab roz uthkar apna kaam karte hain and we have lot of many daily struggles and hurdles to bypass but same is also case with animals what makes us different is our mind our brain aur jo some brain ka sahi istemal karte hain wahi history create karte hain aur aaj hum janenge kuch aise sawalon ke jawab which will definitely make get into think try and try aaj hum baat karenge About lockdown तो है लेकिन पढ़ाई भी हमारी जरूरी है How to have a smart work plan for जे How kids like you can decode the success mantras of toppers? And you all know जे is one of the toughest and biggest competitive exams. And we all know that there is much that goes into preparing for such an entrance exam. That too as big as जे so this is probably the best time to give mindful insight to all jee aspirants in today's session we are going to bypass the preparation road map and winners strategy for cracking jee and that too with our very own toppers aaj hum janenge ki toppers banne ke liye koi magical formula nahi ek jazba chahiye aur jo har ek bacche mein hai bas aapko apne aap ko pehchanne ki der hai so let's welcome toppers themselves to give a record of achieving brilliance and success so here we have highly versatile anushmita viswas anushmita viswas is doing bs research program at iisc bangalore she is the only one child she was born in california usa grew up in bangalore and calicut kerala her mother Dr Mukti Bairai is associate professor electrical engineering calicut and it calicut campus her father dr jayanta biswas is also a associate professor computer science christ university bangalore anushmita likes to listen japanese songs and many other uh, favorite activities she generally do moving ahead let's welcome ajay a very warm welcome to hard working mr ajay ajay is currently studying in iit rurki doing an internship with microsoft india his father is a mechanical engineer his mother is a siddha practitioner and his sister is currently doing mbbs in government medical college so on the behalf of entire akash family a warm welcome anushmita and ajay Oh, yeah like uh, thank you a lot for having me here so today like i am also very happy to be uh, meeting my old teacher after 3 years and a uh, very warm welcome to all the iit aspirants who are here currently all right warm welcome anushmita thank you i'm very excited to join this webinar i hope it's helpful for the iit aspirants and such all right thank you so moving ahead as you all know we are facing this pandemic covid 2019 crisis situation so please tell us it is directly correlated to the profession what you are living currently is starting from the phase of study so please tell us what role an engineer can play in the present circumstances the world is facing starting from anushmita Sir, I feel engineers can play a pretty important role in the current circumstances, like the models built by different countries to predict the spread of virus are generally built by engineers, and these are very useful to know how the virus will spread and how much infections are happening currently. And also, engineers can support the building of medical equipment like ventilators, which are very essential for saving lives. All right, that's rightly said, Anurpita. 
Uh, Ajay, I want to listen from your side also. What role an engineer can play in this present time? Yeah, uh, sure. Like uh, adding to Anishmita's answer, like I also feel engineers are playing a very vital role in this COVID situation. Like none of us were aware, like the suddenly this is going to happen, but people are still coping with it. And uh, engineers and doctors are working together to solve this uh, situation. And like uh, what you see every day on that Worldometer website to the Arogya Setu app, which you use to like see how how much danger you are in. Like all of these are uh, due to the work of engineers. So I feel like people from uh, all aspects should join together and work on this to eradicate the situation fast. That's that's really uh, great. And uh, you know, at such a uh, uh, low age, you people have such a versatile opinion about this uh, stream that shows actually that how deeply you are involved into this. So that's very true. Lockdown situation has moved masses to online learning for best results. And you are also aware, and even you self are using the same learning environment. Isn't it, Ajay and Anushmita? So please suggest to our students that how to maintain the discipline and effectiveness in the online learning environment. Because if I will see from my student point of view, this is quite a different kind of revolution which has come in the education industry. So how for our students, they need to ensure key just to maintain the discipline and effectiveness in the online learning environment, starting from Ajay. So yeah, like uh, none of us were uh, uh, like uh, imagining that such a thing would suddenly happen, but all of us are very fastly evolved to online teaching methods and that's a very big thing. And like, uh, we should not think like online learning is a very uh, disadvantageous situation. For example, it has many benefits. Like you don't have to travel to the institution. Like you can learn from the comfort of your home. Like everything is just right around you. Like these are very helpful to you. Like uh, with respect to managing discipline, like I feel you, you all should have a very uh, strong sense of ambition. Like what I used to do when I am studying and all like, I used to keep my study area separate from my uh, entertainment area. So like when you study, you, you just have to study there or uh, make sure that you don't do something else. Like it's fine that you take breaks and all. like make sure you don't do it within the area of your study. So like what I'm trying to say is that uh, make sure that uh, you have a separate study area for your uh, studying purposes mm -hmm. and make sure that you're fully devoted when you are in that area. That's okay. what I usually that's that's really nice anushmita i just want to know your opinion on this i think what ajay said is like very correct also this evolution of online education has made a lot of online mock tests available which are actually really helpful for students since they get a feel of how a real time exam happens so it is important for students to avail of these online mock tests and solve more of such tests to get better practice. Okay, that's that's really great, Anushmita. And I could pick up very, uh, you know, nice point from your conversation that you was talking about that this is a platform where students can get exposed of many mock test series. So I will be coming to this point, we'll be having an individual discussion on this parameter. So that's rightly said. And you know, the new necessity for every budding engineer is the online learning. And due to this pandemic spreading all over the world, Akas are already availing high-tech digital platform providing by Akas Institute to fight all the odds. But hai hamari zaruri hai. How you think students have evolved their preparation strategy with digital education? If I will take a common example, like maybe of Anushmita or maybe of Ajay, when you used to be a student of Akas Institute, so obviously your days were very fixed it was well planned. Your classes in weekdays and weekend were very well planned. So, but if you will see the current scenario, students being at home, what do you think that how students have evolved their preparation strategy with this digital education, despite they were quite habituate of the offline program. So I just want to know these facts from Anushmita first. Uh, when we did our own uh, coaching and when it was in an offline mode, it used to be like 50% the teachers would inspire us and make us study even if we didn't 
like at the mo- moment focus on it but mm. in an online environment it's mainly self motivated like the student has to design his own schedule and maintain it and also plan for writing online mock tests attending lectures etc so it becomes much more of a self motivated process so what i feel is in an online learning environment a student should be self discipline more if teachers that's, influence is a bit reduced that's that's really nice ajay what is your point on it yeah like uh, i really agree to what anushmita said like the teachers influence has been drastically reduced in this online learning uh, mm. situation so i would uh, definitely uh, recommend and you have got a lot of extra time also because you're not moving between areas and stuff so make a uh, use of that extra time properly and make sure that you're also in proper contact with your teachers a lot like uh, just because you're learning online don't don't uh, leave the communication with them away that's very important so i would recommend that try to communicate with the teachers as much as possible and yeah like be self motivated all right that's that's really great ajay and i'm uh, really happy that you know the people those who have been a part of the offline program and now all of you have adopted even this online program and such a nice thought you are sharing so many students in the beginning i am getting lot of and lot of questions on facebook and youtube and students are obviously desperate to know the answers especially from you people so there is a one common question ajay and anushmita i just want to ask on the behalf of entire viewers right now that many students in the beginning of class 11th they felt they have started two different courses one is for school and second obviously for their dream their aspiration the iit campus and other campus if i talks about both of you people you both have cleared iit je main je advance and kbpy and that too while studying in class 11th and 12th only many of the students would want to know the facets of your journey so do tell us how did you manage your school studies with preparation of engineering entrance exam and before you people will answer i will just repeat this question because this is going to be a one of the mostly asked question where students specifically when they talks uh, when they are studying in class 11 they highly are oriented towards this line ki one side is akash and second side is school so how did you all people manage because if i will see your achievement that is certainly an incredible achievement you have done j main you have done j advance and that to kbpy while studying in class 11 12 so i just want to hear from your side starting from anushmita my school was a cbsc board affiliated school and we had the 75% attendance compulsory rule so okay. in general to manage time i used to skip some days of school while maintaining 75% attendance so okay. that i could study at home and finish up my work on weekdays i would go to akash after school ended and weekends there would be the normal classes at akash that i used to attend so to manage school studies and entrance exam preparation i feel that self study is also important that you have to find time to study on yourself at home also since both are basically on the same syllabus it's important to get the basic concepts clear this helps in preparing both for school and for entrance exams okay so uh, before uh, moving to the opinion of ajay i just want to say that this was the same question which was asked by aviru our uh, one student sandhya singh and deepak sen these were the many students those who have asked the same question so uh, ajay we want to uh, listen your view also that how did you manage both the parameters uh, yeah like uh, so the main situation main thing people worry about that is like they waste a lot of time thinking okay this is akash uh, i have to study separately for that this is school subject i have to prepare separately for that but i would suggest that uh, uh, don't waste time thinking that okay they are different what should i do like like avoid that and like the main thing which people have to understand is that uh, all the concepts are mostly the same 
so what i used to do was i used to uh, study the concepts with the help of akash teachers and akash packages and books which related to je mm-hmm. then uh, those common concepts I, i just used to brush them once in the school books also like this way you can save time a lot instead of worrying about a separate ways of learning them just the way the content is present in these books is little different so like you just have to brush through them once so like uh, that's what i would recommend and uh, how i used to manage my time was like i used to attend a uh, weekday classes in akash so uh, many times i used to like my school was from 7 to 3 pm so i used to like prepare little bit of that akash uh, subjects also in school then after 3 i used to directly go to akash and stay there till night and weekends i used to fully prepare for akash like that's how i managed my time all right all right so uh, one thing uh, i could uh, take away from your discussion is that both of you have given the only minimum requirement for the school and you know that your actual aspiration is going to be the iit campus and you both have handled it very smartly so ajay and anushmita i will take one more question here which is being asked by one of the student deepak sen and he just want to know can you tell me what is to be an the level of je advanced questions papers compared to the questions available by the akas institute the materials so ultimately i was also coming to that question only ki uh, like you know that if you will see the actual pattern of je advanced where the actual pattern obviously will be exposed the day of examination but if you will see the overall pattern is starting from single option correct then more than option correct then paragraph based question integer types question then comprehensive basis question so uh, how did you prepare such a versatile uh, you know the behavior of a competition paper and i was just coming to that question only so uh, i just want to ask from you people ki was the akash material which was provided to you was sufficient to get into this such a versatile group of question what you have faced in je advance in your respective years starting from anushmita um in my year the akash material had all the different types of questions that come in je advance like single option multiple option correct matrix matching integer type everything so hmm. since the material had all these different types of questions it helped me practice for all the different types individually and this helped in the final exam as well i think the aits advanced test series actually is on a comparable level to the je advanced exam that i wrote okay right so i will be coming uh, anushmita specifically when you have discussed about a uh, ai ITS because it is one of the question which is being asked on this forum. So I will be coming to that point. We will have a detailed discussion on that. But before moving to that, I just have one question from my side. Like, so you know, well, we all have the cherished your preparation days and glad to have you as our student. So what kind of support you used to get from Akas at the time of preparation of engineering entrance examination, starting from Ajay? Uh, so yeah, like uh, I would. Uh... totally attribute all the achievements like je ke very like fully to akash like the subjects were and all taught properly proper motivation was provided uh, like uh, i had my maths sir used to continuously motivate me like all the motivation stuff was right on spot and all the like all the continuous exams which we used to have like these and all like uh, a very major factor for me to uh, crack these exams and also the student atmosphere was very great we used to discuss problems and all yeah like these are the things which i remember and the support which i used to get from marcus okay so before anushmita i will get the answer of this question i just got one question top up from what uh, just now ajay said so ajay was saying ki you know when he used to interact some of the questions with the classmates but ajay if you will see the present scenario where students are sitting at home and attending the Uh, the online classes so how do you address this ki what the level of competency they should have in their mind and how they will feel that is still they are a part of that peer group how will you address that uh, like uh, the only way you can communicate with students and teachers is through like video calls and phone calls and stuff mm-hmm. so like uh, this may uh, you know lead to time waste and all like if you 
you may waste your time if you don't properly plan it so yeah. i would suggest that uh, you assign some time to specifically interact with your students like like make sure you have, you have a plan for everything you do like suppose you're going to discuss something prop make sure that you have allotted some time specifically for that and uh, make sure that uh, certain you don't have certain, some unforeseen situations coming in the middle like uh, having some chit chat with your friends like properly properly plan your time then you will be able to like still be uh, feeling you will be able to feel that you're a part of this study group like time management that's 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 really uh, true ajay so anushmita i will be coming to the answer which was uh, i was expecting from you ki what kind of support you used to get from akash institute at the time of your preparation for j advance hey the institute used to have this a uh, long series of different mock tests and it used to be almost like one mock test in about 2 3 days and these were really helpful because after writing the tests i could even correct my mistakes and see the areas i was weak in and all the teachers used to be very helpful and clear my doubts and explaining the concepts i didn't understand to me so they really supported me and motivated me through the exam preparation okay okay so uh, the next question what i am moving i think we have taken some part of that question already so uh, it's very glad to hear that that you know akas strategy converge all the research content for a well planned preparation road map of students and akas exhaustive study material is one of the important parts of the je preparation how useful was the study material issued by akas in making your dream come true how important is to solve all the question because when i think from a again a student point of view so when they started from let's say any chapter let's say laws of motion they are talking so when they get ended with the concept so they move to section a then section b because there is a series of the exercise so at a certain instant of time they felt ki is it necessary to do all the questions so how important is solve or is to solve all the questions of akash study material did you refer any other additional book apart from the akash study material anushmita i think it's important to solve a majority of the questions since the study material contains a lot of different types of questions that come in advance and mains so if we solve these questions we can get familiar with these types and this gives us better practice obviously if some questions are really similar to each other then you can skip them if you are completely sure you know how to solve them as for other material i did uh, refer some other problem solving books in the subjects this is to get like a variety of experience for example there is always zero dog in physics which is like a classic source of problems and even in maths and chemistry there are some excellent books in calculus and inorganic chemistry that we can refer to get a larger variety of problems that can come in an exam all right all right so i think that will be surely useful for our all j aspirants and the student those who have asked this question ajay i just want to uh, ask you also to add something into this Uh, yeah like uh, i feel that uh, akash books were uh, pretty sufficient for getting the basic concepts right and like i also feel it's important for you to solve the problems in the book and uh, one thing is like uh, one one advice i would like to say is don't keep on uh, uh, trying to learn the concept from multiple books instead of that like focus on the class that's the main thing like your teacher obviously knows all the stuff like learn all the concepts from him and focus on the akash book for the fundamentals the concepts and all and try to solve the problems and then you can move on to other books for trying to solve the problems and all but i would suggest that for the concept you stick to one book and try to solve multiple uh, books for questions and stuff once you're done with the akash package all right so uh, i do have many questions which i want you people should answer but i have to take uh, meanwhile some question which are being asked for the students so there is one student uh, superja she want to ask what about the people who are going to attend je after covid as in this year 2020 2020 batch what is your suggestion for them so this is the question from one of the je aspirant 
who, those who are going to write je this year so seeing the current scenario what is your suggestion to all these je aspirants anushmita i feel the covid scenario is a very uncertain in that no one exactly knows what is going to happen after a couple of months so i i cannot say anything about how the exam is going to happen after this but i feel that the students should be like self motivated and keep the focus clear because uh, even though the exam might be postponed it's important to keep your preparation intact and not uh, forget what you have learned since that's like even more harmful so like keep a clear mind and focus on the concepts that you might have a doubt in and just work hard to strengthen all the gaps in the preparation so when the exam comes around you can actually do your best and be self motivated and have confidence in yourself this basically what i'd like to say that's that's good anushmita ajay what is your thought on it yeah like um, i also feel you can't be uh, certain about the format of the exam which you're going to attempt and all and like uh, it's like little far away from where we are right now the exam and it's pretty easy to get uh, demotivated like lose focus and all when you're at home so like try to keep your spirits up and continuously uh, try to study the study the topics and uh, like try to get accustomed to like the online format a little also like for example when i gave it online uh, in my year you could not uh, go through all the questions quickly like this is a little bit different in the online format so like uh, get accustomed to both the paper format on the online format so that you are ready for both and like uh, stay confident continue to stay confident right so rightly said and if i want to just summarize the the response what you all people uh, you know have just uh, mentioned that conceptual clarity and exam focus content benefits all aspirants right this is what i can conclude what both of you are trying to say apart from this how important is taking test and attending classes on a regular basis so this might be the question from some of the students right now if you will see the pattern of the classes which can not be considered but yes how apart uh, apart from this that how important is taking the test because right now all our je aspirants students are being a part of the test series which is being conducted so how important is taking the test and how gradually they should you know improve in the test what kind of threshold they should keep in the performance and what should be the way of improvement so uh, this is one question which is being asked by one student muthu kumar so ajay i want you should answer this question yeah like uh, i think i can uh, answer this because like uh, even uh, like in my 11th i did not have much focus towards giving test studying and all so like uh, like what this leads to is like you won't be sure like how much understanding you have of a specific topic and then once you start missing the classes you will uh, face a lot of problems because you are learning the topics in a specific way in that the first topics or the fundamentals which will be focused in the future topics as well so like uh, try to avoid uh, piling up of work and be regular in your uh, classes and the tests are like the weekly test for example they are very effective because you get to know how much you uh, have understood in a specific topic thought in that week like uh, it's like a continuous evaluation and like once you lose the focus of it it gets pretty tough to catch up like i used to face this issue in my 12th so i would uh, advise everyone to avoid that and take everything which you get from the weekly test like uh, try to solve try to understand where is the problem and try to learn those topics again etc like make right. sure the weekly evaluation happens so yes yes so anushmita i want you also to intervene in this and to guide our all the je aspirant ki how important is taking the test um, i also feel what ajay said is very correct that if once you pile up work and lose focus it becomes pretty hard to catch up so in that sense taking tests regularly is very important since it gives you a full evaluation of your current standing and how much you have to improve and what your faults are 
also the important thing is not to be demotivated by low results in a test because there's always room for improvement and what we should actually do is analyze our errors and not really like uh, feel very sad that our scores are getting low because we have to improve them very true very true so i am sure this information must be very useful to all the jee aspirants and i personally feel human mind is you know capable of doing miracles and what it takes is a spark i just want to know and all our viewers all the jee aspirants they just want to know where did you find your spark while entering into class 11 which is the initial stage of jee preparation how did you plan before entering into class 11 what was your thought what was your planning for next two year how you are going to face up and down in the preparation as you know so uh, this is one of the question so i want first anushmita you should answer this uh, before i enter class 11 or even in the beginning of class 11 I actually really had a very little idea of how entrance exams happen and how to have a long term plan for these two years so what i mm. mainly used to do is focus on the daily class and do the daily class work and write the tests and just go like this every day i didn't have a long term plan it was when the kbpy essay results came out and they were like worse than i expected that's when i actually decided that i had to have a long term plan for my studies these two years since these exams are really really competitive and you can't like be over confident about these exams like i was in the beginning of 11 so then i like started studying with a more focused plan and i think this happens to a lot of people and it's it's fine like as long as we can focus in time it, things actually do improve okay ajay what is your opinion on it oh uh, yeah like uh, before entering 11 i was like uh, interested in computer science a lot and i was also interested in maths and like i did not have much uh, i was very interested in joining uh, like iit in the future but i did not have any idea about how to go about it the procedure etc so once i joined akash i like remember the initial classes and all like ma- ma- my maths classes like uh my maths sir he uh, used to teach really well and like uh, that drove the curiosity and uh, like all the spirit for me like that's how i started like i got the spark and uh, i like i was little unfocused in my 11th but if i can say like when did the fire kind of started that would be in the 12th uh, like uh, at that point i was i got very focused about like where i want to be and how should i go there I found that in my twelfth, and I focused very hard and prepared hard for it. So Ajay, uh, as far as I know you, you have just mentioned that since class tenth, uh, you was much focused on computer science, and I still remember the moment you have joined IIT Rukki campus. The allotment for you it was metallurgy, right? So how did you made this revolution? Because uh, one thing I got very clear that. Uh, if you are looking for where there is a will there is a way and i think you are the classical example of that and you have really proved ki the way you was looking the way your aspiration was working since class 10 in the last stage also you have turned around it even though you have joined that campus with a different stream so did you had this thought at that time ki okay let me enter into the campus then is still i have this much confidence ki i can turn around and i can get into the computer science ajay yeah like uh, this i can tell in two phases for example i started really preparing hard in my 12 at that time also i was like pretty uncertain about what to do like and then i realized okay i have to do this and i have to get into it like that was the aim i had in my entire 12 and like there were some downs ups and downs but i try to stay as motivated as possible due to my teachers and my parents and after that oh, when the 12th uh, after the j results came and i realized okay i'm going to metallurgy i was like pretty upset about it okay and then i realized okay like uh, uh, there's no uh, failure is not an answer like literally this is what i said to myself and then after i entered uh, 
IIT, I uh, like I did like a uh, very very hard work there. So I would say ki like uh, you should never imagine about failure when you are preparing. You should always think okay this is what I have and I have to do it no matter what's going to happen. I never think uh, okay what will happen if I fail. Like don't even think about the second part like never have a plan B like think okay I have to do it and so I will do it. Like, that was a motivation I had in my 12th and in IIT. So that's that's really inspiring, Ajay, to all of us, and I'm sure all the JE aspirant, those who are listening to us right now, they will really feel that you have really, you know, did a miracle. It's not less than a miracle. So well, uh, right? Timing is very very important for all of us. Early preparation and timely completion of syllabus definitely gives you ample time for revision and test taking. As we all know, JE main is conducted in two editions. one in january second is in april this time due to lockdown april edition has been rescheduled in the month of july probably so out of these two attempts january and april which one do you suggest will be one where students should give their maximum preparation anushmita so ajay you can answer this question oh uh, yeah like uh, during my time like i did not have this uh, two exam pattern yeah uh, but uh, the uh, important suggestion would be like uh, try to finish your portions as fast as possible like never keep anything that i will do it later etc never postpone stuff and uh, i would suggest that uh, try to give both the exam with the same effort don't skimp on the effort like i'm just giving this for uh, a testing purpose etc like try to put your full focus into it and uh, even if you're unable to do well in the first exam try to like uh, get all the learnings you get from there and prepare for the second exam with even more spirit all right so uh, i will interrupt in between i will stop my questions because i'm getting lot of questions so one student harish Uh, he just want to know how many hours will they study a day during the preparation so anushmita you can answer this um i feel that there is no formula on the number of hours a person needs to study it depends on how you use the time yourself and every person has a unique uh, time routine for themselves and it's like everyone needs to figure out how many hours that Uh, they need to finish the concepts and do their work and write the mock test in general i used to spend other than coaching and school i used to spend about 5 to 6 hours in the morning and evening to do my preparation uh, this was what i tried to maintain on some days i couldn't and i used only 2 to 3 hours but again it's totally up to the individual as to how many hours a day they wish to dedicate to studies it depends on how you use the time it's not exactly the quantity of time that matters as how well you can utilize it okay okay so i will take uh, another question over here there is one uh, a student prakriti uh, that student just want to know is it wrong to practice our hobbies in the midst of our preparation for je main and advance how can we manage our time between our hobbies and study we take a break from hobbies so i hope uh, you understood the question so ajay would you like to answer this yeah uh, sure like uh, i would say that continue your hobbies and uh, try to stay away from other forms of entertainment like mobile phones tvs etc like instead of that if you focus on your hobby like you get to relax as well as be creative and all like don't if you can continue your hobby or uh, definitely do that like but uh, so do proper time management for that like make sure you have a lot some proper amount of time for that in case you're doing it and uh, try to avoid uh, the uh, useless forms of entertainment like mobile phones social media etc right? definitely avoid those things but hobbies yeah you can definitely do they are actually pretty helpful to relieve the stress and increase your creativity all right so all right jee aspirants i think you have got the insights 
right what ajay and anushmitas are telling so anushmita uh, please share some more secrets of your topper journey please tell us do's and don'ts in the examination hall of je um a very common do is to stay calm during the exam because having too much tension actually reduces our ability to think logically and read the question properly so the main thing is to stay calm that's a, like really important point and also it's very important to stay healthy eat properly and have enough sleep since a healthy mind resides in a healthy body and if we are not in good health it actually affects our performance as well also it's very important to read the questions in the exam very carefully to avoid making small mistakes because every mark can count in these kind of exams this is the main do's that i'd like to point out all right the second phase of the question don'ts in the examination hall uh like uh, okay like uh, uh like being uh, one thing is never take too much tension before you're going to give the exam like uh, don't think that okay this exam is going to change my life it is going to do everything to me like avoid thinking like that like uh, one thing which i used to do was i used to think that okay this je exam is like another aats exam like try to be as calm as possible and uh, avoid any uh, last minute memorizations and stuff like this will uh, remove like whatever you have uh, learned for the past two years and that is more important than what you can stuff in your brain in just one day like try, stay as calm as possible for the last day like sleep well these are very important things which you have to do before the exam right well that was very informative and i'm sure a lot of students will get benefit of this when all students are into this core preparation ajay and anushmita they all go through highs and lows and i'm sure you must have experienced this journey there are moments of surprises and shocks let it be a performance in examination let it be a uh, performance in the uh, quiz which is being conducted maybe at online platform or in the classes or let it be any kind of assessment so they all goes highs and lows right how did you manage to swap your way out of all these obstacle what is the role if i just want to pull out few things so in such kind of highs and lows you will find the people's those you know who can keeps you motivated who supports you so i remind the main three people over here uh, let it be first your parents then your friends and then the teachers so what is the role of friend circle and the parents in these two year journey of preparation anushmita um i think friends are very important in these two years since they are going through the same experience as you and they are the people who can always understand your problems or your panic before an exam since they have the same feeling and discussing problems with friends actually makes the whole process of solving problems a lot more fun and uh, for example when after my kvpy essay results came out like i was like very sad then so it was my parents who motivated me to forget the results and learn from my mistakes and correct them in the next exam my teachers mm. also are like a big source of support for me since they told me all my weak points and helped me to clear my doubts and they even taught me a lot of extra stuff that is going to be required during an exam like topics that i couldn't study myself they helped me learn so all three have a really big role in supporting and motivating a student through these two years of stressful preparation and taking exams that's that's really great anushmita ajay what is your opinion on it yeah like uh, when you are in your two years of preparation like the role of parents teachers and friends are like really important like uh, when you are learning the subject for example my mom used to even mouth feed me in my 11th and 12th like that much care she used to give me and from the teacher side like suppose when i uh, when i was entering 12th i was about to leave uh, the coaching preparation i was very disappointed with my uh, achievement till then 
but it was my uh, maths teacher who like uh, had confidence in me like uh, to continue with the preparation and like these are the factors like because of which i'm uh, where i am today and uh, i remember my uh, very good friend guru saran like we used to uh, always hang out together study together discuss problems etc and like uh, currently is uh, doing medicine in tanjore so like oh, because great. of these mm-hmm. uh, so because of these things only like i feel uh, the coaching has been a success for me all right so i will take one more question uh, this is the question uh, asked by one student named sanjay he is asking can you tell me how much time period enough to crack j i could not able to join akash in class 11 is it 12th enough to crack j so anushmita i request you to put your opinion on it ajay we can start actually i please yes please anushmita please continue actually i feel that uh, even if you don't go to a coaching in 11th standard it's not that uh, the whole thing of cracking j is gone not at all like that because i do have a lot of friends who didn't really perform well in 11th but actually put a lot of hard work in 12th and did pretty well in the exam so what is important is uh, whichever wherever whichever period of time you are whether you are in 11th or 12th it's always important to get the concepts clear and um, to have like a very strong foundation since all the questions actually build on the same basic foundation of concepts so even in 12th after finishing the 12th standard syllabus there is generally time to revisit the 11th syllabus and mm. correct whatever doubts you had in 11th standard so it's not attending coaching in 11th is not at all the end of preparation in je there's always enough time in 12th to focus and revisit the whole syllabus for the exam okay so uh, meanwhile i will have one more top up question i just uh, get it clicked after listening your uh, reply what you were saying so anushmita for many uh, you well said ki you know it's not a matter that how much time you are getting it's the best way is to utilize the time what you are having in your hand right now but still if you will see from my student point of view there are many students who joined uh, only for a year and still they have this thought ki yes i miss something isn't it because in each class they will have this point of interaction ki yes i miss something i miss something so you know uh, the class 11th miss is certainly is there uh, as a you know uh, the facts or as a thought in their mind and just now ajay also has said ki you know his experience about class 11th was not so great so ajay i think i can correlate these uh, this question as well as your experience in class 11 but still uh, i would just reply to that student ki ajay also have the same experience even he was there in class 11 but he, he could not utilize that and you know the level of preparation what he was supposed to do in class 11 by all the reasons by many reasons let it be but yes he could not because currently he is you know stating ki the way he has performed in class 12 the same way he could not perform in class 11 but he still he could make into computer science and that to in the one of the you know the best uh, institution in india that is uh, iit roorkee so ajay uh, i think uh, you have well answered this question uh, before i moving to the next question so that's quite the planning and balance you have managed so how do you remember your days as a student of akas ajay oh uh, like uh, the most of uh, memorable moments for me when i was na- like like everybody else i also used to like to solve problems so the most memorable moments i can relate to are like uh, interacting with the students and the teachers together like we used to sit down together to solve a tough problem like and once you solve it the feeling of happiness you get like these are the most memorable moments which i have in akash like uh, interactions with teachers and friends like like a very close bond was formed in those two years that's what i remember in my two years of preparation okay that's that's great anushmita 
my two years at akash were like a very important part of my life i learned a lot of things in those two years and i still apply them in college oh. because a lot of the syllabus is actually based on the same topics like electromagnetism and mechanics so i apply the same thing again and also my two years at akash were well, the main things i remember is like discussing problems with my friends and those discussions used to be pretty fun and my teachers used to have such amazing methods of solving a problem so efficient and i could always learn new methods when i talk to them about solving problems so these are what i remember from my time at akash that's that's really great uh, anushmita and it's really great to know ki you know the the foundation what you have learned in uh, akash institute while in your class 11th and 12th is still very smartly you are utilizing all the assets that's really great to know so there is one question being asked from one of the respected parent and sir want to ask what role did your parent play in your preparation as i am a parent how can i help my child through the process of je preparation uh, i know ki we uh, you have a bit answered this question but i want you should stress more on this so i will repeat it what role did your parent play in your preparation as i am a parent how can i help my child through the process of je preparation ajay yeah like parents were like literally the greatest part of my preparation they used to support me for everything mm -hmm. so like uh, the main kind of support which a parent can give to a student from what i have experienced is emotional support like the uh, people usually students have a lot of doubts and lot of thoughts in their 11th and 12th so a parent can uh, like the emotional support of parent is one of the most important things and like uh, for me uh, my mom used to like interact with me a lot about my study preparations even though she could not like go into the top deep of the topics of what i'm studying she still used to like have a, a brief overview of what and all i'm doing so she used to monitor me a little bit and she used to manage my se time sessions and all like yeah that was the support i got maybe That's that's great, Anushmita. What's your experience on it? Similar to what he said, my parents were like one of the biggest parts of my preparation. My father used to help me go to coaching class and drop me and pick me up. And without his support, I probably wouldn't be able to come to class regularly. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom also helped me focus on my studies. Like if I spend two hours on the mobile without studying while taking a break she would scold me and bring me back to my studies and so she kept me in line and she also helped me like with the concepts and how to prepare effectively and how to make less mistakes and to write all the steps for doing a problem so these were like really helpful tips and pointers for me to improve accuracy and my parents like they were a real big source of support and like as very glad about it that's that's really great anushmita uh, there is another question from one student uh, named angit so a student want to know what were their motivation what helped you to stay motivated because as you are also repeating this fact to stay motivated self motivation is very very important uh, tool of this two year journey so one student just want to know ki what helped you to stay motivated ajay yeah like uh, what helped me stay motivated motivated was like i used to be very interested in computer science and like uh, i was very clear about it that once i complete my coaching like uh, i should pursue that in a proper college like that this was the highest motivation for me i used to uh, constantly visualize myself as doing well in uh, computer science being a software developer like developing games etc like i used to keep my end goals and i used to wish like these are the long term goals i had and i used to have a proper visualization of them whenever i used to get demotivated and that helped me to drive me forward in my preparation okay anushmita um for me i was really interested in biology and science subjects so okay and my since my father also studied at iisc i wish that i could also one day go to the same institute and study where he did so this was one of my main motivations that 
I wanted to go to a good college and study and like uh, learn a lot of new stuff. In actually, in eleventh, this motivation was not really clear for me. I used to study because that was the main thing I did. But in twelfth, it actually became this um, focus that I have to go to a really good college and do my best there. And for that, I need to study my best in twelfth also. So. Okay, that's that's really great. So there is another question is being asked by Sadhana Tiwari. and uh, she want to ask what is the difference between the preparation strategy for je main and je advance and i think this is uh, quite interesting question and many of the je aspirants will be looking for uh, you to answer this question so what is the uh, difference between the preparation strategy of je main and je advance ajay uh, so there is a much difference in the preparation which you do like uh, like you can practice like uh, the exam format is different and the questions are different but the most important thing which you should focus on is the concept like once you have the fundamental concepts clear in your mind like there's nothing which can remove you from that but if your fundamentals are weak and you're just you should not go to the question solving part before understanding the subject you're learning properly like if the fundamentals are strong you can tackle both j like je advance focuses more on the fun, basic concepts mm. so but je mains focuses more on uh, how much problems you are solved like how much you are solved in th- that type it depends on speed etc so like focus on the fundamentals really properly and then uh, try to solve as much questions as possible okay so i have lot of questions in uh, sequence to be asked so anushmita uh, i will be moving to you for the next question so uh, one student roshan he just want to know how to adjust time while writing the examination so time is very important factor while writing an examination since it's designed so that you can't spend too much time on a single question so in my opinion what i used to do is to uh, generally attempt the subject i was good at first and i was a little confident in maths so i used to try attempting maths first because it gives you a bit of confidence when you get the questions and if the other subjects are little more difficult and you get stuck in the beginning it's kind of hard to keep that um, momentum throughout the exam also it's very important to not spend too much time on a single question since this means that you might miss some other easier questions that you could easily solve in the same time so if a question you can't get within like one one minute then leave it and do the other questions do the easier questions come back to this question after doing a first round through the question paper and then try it again also it's very important while doing any question to not skip any steps because any silly mistake that you might make even in a simple question can actually lead to negative markings so every question that you solve you have to do it pretty fast and also you have to be sure that the question you have solved is like more or less correct like you can't like the skip steps and that's what i feel because very i used to skip steps a lot so not very nice it's better very not to do that yeah so uh, if i will see your overall uh, you know the responses and the advices what you have given to all the je aspirants this reminds me of famous quote of bill waterson he says we are so busy watching out for what just ahead of us that we don't take time to enjoy where we are so everybody says to study hard study smart but this thing is rightly said by our toppers is enjoying your time take the breaks and believe in yourself so with this we have come to an end of our today's session and i hope you all have heard the toppers have spilled the beans of crack j in their way and heard them rightly to follow the path of success so anushmita and ajay last but not the least please share what advice would you like to give to the students aspiring to choose a career in engineering ajay so like for students aspiring to be engineers uh try to be curious always and like uh, try to question everything around you 
like uh, these are very important because as an engineer uh, an engineer is supposed to solve problems and build solutions so try to, like whenever you see something ask yourself why is it happening what is happening like keep that sense of a uh, curiosity in you always and we uh, uh, explore uh, everything that would be my advice okay anushmita um, about engineering as a career i can give my own experience since i took science in college so but i would think ajay's words are very true for both engineering and science careers also just from my side it's important to believe in yourself and have confidence and um, always be passionate about the subject you are interested in and keep learning this is basically what i think that's that's really true so anushmita and ajay thank you so much for joining the session and thank you so much for sharing your advices your activities your practices what you all people have done during your own examination and i am sure it will be quite helpful for all our je aspirants 2020 20 thank you so much and take well care of yourself and all the best for your future thank you thank you so much thank you a lot thank you sir thank you.